My name is Jim Darnell. I'm the COO of VTO Labs. We're here at Squalcom Creek Park, right next to our new office in Bellingham, Washington, to put some data on drones. And I'm Matt Dominic. I'm also from VTO Labs, and I'm one of our lab's uh, digital forensics analysts and researchers, and I'm also a drone pilot. We selected these drones because they're essentially new. We already have 30 data sets for other drones, but it was time to refresh those data sets. What we do is fly them to put essentially data on them, and then we then go through all the processes to take them apart, pull the data from whatever might be saved to the device, and then we put that out for anybody to download. It helps tool manufacturers all the way down to forensic analysts. Another important thing that we'll be looking for too is in these newer drones that are on the market these days, uh, they might have new security features that may make it hard for uh, digital forensic examiners to actually gain access to the data. Are you ready to start uh, taking notes on our first flight? Roger that. Wow, that is, uh, that's pretty fast. Oh man. man it, it zips. It's like a big dragonfly. <laughs> All right, we'll stop recording on this. All right. So after we get uh, all the drone flights complete, we'll take them back to the lab and we'll start forensic processes. So this is the process that we go through to essentially create forensic methods to pull information from drones. We'll take notes on exactly what we have to take apart so that we're not taking something apart more than it needs to be. We'll start with SD cards all the way down to the actual chips that are on the board of the device. We take photographs of each step. We make sure that we keep uh, the same identifiers with each drone. That way we don't mix up batteries or mix up SD cards to commingle the, the potential evidence. We go one piece at a time, nice and slow. We take notes all the way down to what size screws and if it's a slotted, versus a Phillips screw, how many screws we have to take out to get all the way down to the chips on the device. We try to build a large data set so that uh, forensic investigators uh, in, the, in the United States as well as around the world basically have a place to go to so that they can use our research to help them in investigations, whether it's a crime or, or anything else that needs investigating that involves a drone incident. So today, uh, we were able to uh, actually start our teardown process of this drone. We were able to take the drone completely apart, identify the data storage areas on the logic board, and actually remove that EMMC and get a full physical image from that EMMC as well. Mm -hmm. 